The Honda Hynos CB350, which was launched in October 2020, comes in two various DLX and DLX Pro. We got a chance to ride the DLX Pro, which costs roughly around Rs 2.26 lakh on road in Delhi. In this video, we shall be talking about a couple of aspects of this vehicle, which many reviewers have missed out on. Yet, it is critical. As you go along, if you like the video, do give us the thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to the Motown India channel, do so now. Does this motorcycle have a storage space? Where do you find the toolkit in this vehicle? What all tools are there in this toolkit? And equally important, where is the fuse box of this vehicle? And what does it contain? Why is the horn button shaped so unconventionally and different from other bikes? Why is there no grab handle near the rear seat to help you put up the motorcycle on the main stand? Is there a helmet lock in this vehicle? All these questions will be answered exclusively in this video. In our next video, we shall talk about its performance and other critical features. First, let me start with the horn. Now this horn switch, if you notice, has been designed in a very unconventional way. It's not like in the other uh, two-wheelers where uh, it's easy to honk. So if you notice, it takes a little bit of effort to honk. The reason being, like any responsible uh, motor vehicle manufacturer, they want us to use the horn as minimum as possible. Now, if you have it the conventional way, like in the other bikes and scooters, what we Indians do is we tend to keep honking. So to prevent that, Honda has designed it an unconventional way. So there you go. It takes a little bit of effort to actually honk. Another thing I want to talk about in this motorcycle is, let's find out where is the storage space. Now, how do we get about it? In, in the Royal Enfield motorcycle, if you notice, these side panels here are actually used for, uh, one part at least is used for storage space. Your toolkit perhaps comes in an area, uh, in the small area here. But in the Honda, there's a key slot here, there's a, area here on the other side on the right panel that opens with an allen key and the seat does not open with any switch rather this too has to open with an allen key now how do we go about opening up these well simple the key with this key you open up the left hand side space the small panel here Once you open this, you realize the battery is stacked there. But where is the Allen key? Let's just find out. There at the bottom, stashed away very neatly is the Allen key. Now that is the key to opening up all the areas around. Isn't that interesting? So let's move to the next step, opening up the other side panel. The right side box also has no major space for storage, except that they have kept a small medical kit there. There is a plastic bracket of sorts out there and you can actually keep some papers or the bike's user manual booklet. The size and thickness of the user manual booklet is all what this plastic bracket can hold. The Allen key can be used to open the seat screw and once this is open, you can physically remove the seat. Now under the seat, you get to see the toolkit strap neatly. It is a small toolkit and it contains a few tools like a spanner, a screwdriver without a holder, a spark plug remover which also doubles up as a screwdriver handle and a tiny plastic clip that is used to remove the fuse inside the fuse box. The underbody of the seat also contains a small storage space just enough to accommodate something the size of a biker's user manual booklet. Once you remove the seat and explore the space on the bike, you realize the air intake pipe is located there. So that means you cannot put anything loose there or else it could get sucked into the air intake pipe. Let me demonstrate that with a plastic sheet for your understanding. If you see, once you rev the bike, the pipe begins to suck anything that is in its vicinity. <laughs> Now let's get to the fuse box. 
this is for your understanding because one should always know where a fuse box is located in a vehicle. In the Honda Hynos CB350, this is located in the space below the seat. The different fuses control the ignition, ABS, headlights, etc. Removing and replacing them is a cakewalk. This can be done with the help of the plastic clip. Now finally, let us tell you about the main stand of the vehicle. For all Royal Enfield riders, let me tell you that putting a typical RE Classic 350 on the main stand requires you to hold the grab handle near the rear seat to pull the bike back. But in the case of the CB350, since it is around 14 odd kilos lighter than the Classic 350, this bike does not come with a side grab handle and to put the bike on the main stand is as easy as a walk in the park. All you have to do is to step firmly on the main stand foot area and hold the rear back seat handle and the bike simply goes back. It's that simple. Last but not the least, the bike also comes with a lock to lock your helmet in place when you have parked the bike. It's a simple lock mechanism which is operated with your ignition key. We shall be soon coming out with another video on the performance and other critical features of this motorcycle. So watch this space for more action.